All right, guys, we're going to pull from the tea leaf deck. And then at the end, I'm going to pull from this god or African goddess deck as well. Okay. I know it says African, but there's other, as we saw earlier, there's other Egyptian gods and things, goddesses and things like that. So, but let's, let's get to the tea leaf deck. I'm hearing that song. Run away, love. Run away, love. I think it's from Mary J. Blige. Yeah, that's not a happy song, though. So I don't know why I'm hearing that song. Somebody thinking about running away? All right, checking for a lead, bro. For a leave, but if you guys are still here with me, rocking with me, resonating with the message, or just liking my energy, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my readings. Okay, if you guys are interested, please, um, in members, okay, um, I post, I will be posting, oh shoot. Mm. I post messages and members um, that are strictly for the members, okay? Um, extra readings that are members only. I post daily messages. I post, um, I'm about to start posting um, um, oh God, all signs messages, okay? <laughs> so, so that that way you can check your other places for messages, okay? But anyways, um, yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. So, yeah, you got somebody just slip and slide around you. I, you got a fox. All right. The fox says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So somebody is being so it's like anytime I see a fox, I get a sneaky energy. OK. Um. Also, you have this, the scissors, disappointment in some affair. This is having to cut somebody off and then you're receiving a precious gift. So I feel like once you distance yourself away from whoever this sneaky ass person is, people, because remember, we saw several snakes in the cup. So once you distance yourself from this sneaky ass energy, whatever this is, I definitely feel like you will be receiving something. OK, um, and it, it could happen all like all at the same time. It could be, you know like um simultaneously or whatever happening together but uh, you you will be receiving something okay it could be a diamond um i know libra season is almost here so you may be receiving these maybe gifts that you're receiving from people or from someone this could be like a, a diamond ring necklace earrings jewelry or just something that is precious to you okay so it doesn't necessarily have to be jewelry or a diamond but it could be something that you will hold very near and dear to your heart something that's very precious to you it could be flowers okay maybe no one's ever gotten you flowers and you you know somebody remembers to get you your favorite flowers or something like that like it could be anything um all right so some of you are having or uh, oh wow look at that you will receive a gift so you're definitely receiving a gift okay um for some of you this is um some type of recognition, some acknowledgement or something like that, okay? I do see a new career or a new job. Somebody starting a new career or a new job, okay? All right, messages for Libra. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you need to defend yourself as you are climbing towards success. So... As you are climbing towards success, there is going to be some people, those people that we were talking about, those snake energies that you're going to have to cut off, get away from, distance yourself from, things like that, okay? Yeah, go ahead and, and do that when the time comes, okay? Um, yeah, because not everybody, uh, yeah, remember I, uh, I saw a crab in the, um, in the cup. When I said cancer energy, so there could be a cancer that's trying to like pull you down or this is like the the crabs in a bucket thing. Like when people don't want to see you successful, so they try to pull you down or, or harm you or manipulate you or whatever in some type of way. OK, so just know that you are climbing towards success with the ladder here. That's literally what it says. And you're but you're going to have to defend yourself. You're going to have to be on your toes and protect yourself, protect your energy, protect you you on the way up okay 
something um, is not going to work out how someone planned. You have unsuccessful plans here. So I don't know what this is about, but um, and January could be significant. Okay. Uh, anything else? I don't split the deck, but I don't get no chance. Uh, for some of y'all, it's going to be a ring that you receive in this precious gift in this box. Look at that. Diamond box ring. I mean, what does that sound like to you? You know, some of you could be getting engaged. Some of you may think that something is about to happen. Like if you're with somebody, you may think this person is about to propose to you now. But um, or you may be like wanting to tie the knot with somebody now or something like that. But it's like not the right time. Or if you have, I don't know, something, it's like not now, but it may not come now. It may like, just say, for instance, somebody thinks you're, you're with somebody and you're like, okay, it's my birthday. We've been together for such and such time. Five, five, five. I just saw on the timer, major changes ahead. So it's like, um, yeah, I mean, this is, this, this could be the time this person is going to propose to me. They said they were going to go out to a nice dinner and da, 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 da. They said my family is going to be there and you're thinking, okay, it's going to be now, but it may not be now. Okay. It may be January. I don't know for some of you, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, all right, what else? But it does say a marriage will take place either romantic or business. If this is business, you may be cutting ties with somebody and work getting a new business partner, okay? But um, this could definitely be marriage. Okay, I feel like you focus, getting focused, getting back to yourself um, and getting focused on your goals, your priorities and things like that, okay? All right, so you have December here. So I feel like around December for somebody, there will be some type of, you have troubles and, accus oops, troubles and accusations. Then I say get into the bag. Look at that. Look at the bag. Yeah. It says something important such as a new, um, such as a new job or a raise. The new job came out twice. Okay. So you may be, you may be doing something new soon, or you may have recently started something new here, or you may be getting a raise. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, December, okay, may cause, you may get some, around December, January, there may be some trouble, some accusations, okay? Now, this could come in a, in a myriad of ways. Um, this could be you accusing someone of something, somebody accusing you of something. This could be um, an outside energy, third-party energy, whether it's a, another love interest, whether it's a family member or something trying to interfere in something that you have going on. This could be somebody accusing you of cheating, somebody accusing you of lying, of stealing, of whatever, okay? Um, so just be aware of that. Wow. You have news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So something in business um, is very important here. Something about getting to the bag, honey, I'm trying to tell you, Okay. There's something about getting to the bag. Again, new opportunities, possibilities, and new pathways opening up. So, and then wedge. Okay, someone trying to come in between you and a friend or something that you want, period. Somebody trying to come in between you and your lover, you and your job, you and your money, you, you and something. Okay? And I feel like this could be taking place in December or in January. Okay? So, toward the end of the year beginning of the new year all right yeah depression anxiety worry that somebody is against you okay what else for Libra Ooh, didn't I say something about a rat these are mice but the same damn thing hell to me they all vermin all right discord among family and friends and you have success assured with good plans and hard work. And that don't that egg look golden? Mm-hmm. Everything you touch turns to gold. You have success here coming towards you, climbing the ladder to success. Success is assured for you here with hard work, dedication, and planning, okay? And I don't know if this success is going to cause some discord among your family and friends or if it's something else. Look at the bottom of the deck, child. I told you snakes all around you. A two-faced friend. 
That says a two-faced friend. And there's the well that I was seeing. Great worry over nothing. So what if you worried about this look, new house, new attitude, you will be playing a different role, a promotion, a raise, you you being a boss. Someone is hurt over you, um, over no longer having you in their energy, whether it's it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't have to be a love person, um, a lover. All right, somebody gonna try to make you somebody's gonna ask you for something like a loan or, or something like some money. All right. Um somebody's name is Lily. A Taurus energy could be significant, but um, yeah, that well, if you're worried about whoever is against you, this two faced friend, a lover ex cheating, or something like that, I just get I'm just getting the energy like you don't need to worry about that, all right. You this well says great worry over nothing, okay? So that means you're protected, it's handled, don't stress yourself out about other people oh and look i said i saw the little couple in the cup and you have romances in the air i said something about flowers earlier roses could be significant and getting together with friends okay um i'm getting so, like a celebration yeah some of you need to work harder um to achieve your goals or you're working harder to achieve your goals and you have someone is leaving your life in august or someone could have left your life in august or a Leo or a Virgo could have left your life, okay? 1111 could be significant. Okay, you have an exciting event that you are going to need to jump on that opportunity in October, okay? Trust your intuition about this, though, okay? Do your homework, trust your intuition, but I see um, something coming up for you in October here. Okay, what is this? And look, there's the rat. <laughs> can't make it up there's the rat someone working against you or behind your back period for some of you it's a younger woman and you see how this car was literally turned like this yeah and look and it and it dropped on top of that sneaky ass fox the car was turned like this this motherfucker's trying to hide from you whoever this there's a younger woman in your energy that um is working against you or behind your back look because you get into the bag there's the bag again there's the and it was turned mm, child Child, child, child. Yep. All right. So, anything else from this deck? I'm going to pull a few energies. Ooh, you got happiness. Ooh, great and good fortune. Yay. Okay, I like that. Good fortune, good fortune. I kept, told you guys I kept seeing that good luck. All right. Final messages from the tea leaf deck, please. And I said something's going to make you happy, didn't I? Happiness is here. Final messages. Work, achievement, success, so hard work. Mm -hmm. Something about a fair man, dealings, or a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Somebody's pregnant. Or somebody has like three kids and they're about to have another one. Persevere. To overcome your problems, happiness and well-being again, good fortune again, beetles are good luck. You could be seeing ladybugs, something about libraries. February is here. So I'm getting like going into the new year, things are going to be shifting for you. I'm getting like an overflow. Make sure that you're paying attention to your finances. The sun again. I like it. I feel like you're part of your, yeah, I, de I definitely feel like you're leaving like a job or somebody that you were doing business with, okay? Yeah, make sure, again, saving, unsettled times and need to plan ahead, okay? Make sure that you are trying to save or put something back for a rainy day, okay? Yeah. Something is not going to be forever. This is a temporary situation. You may be temporarily unhoused. You may, something that you're going through though is temporary, okay? You're being tested right now and to see how much you've learned or how what you're ready for and things like that, okay? Um, 1414 could be significant. You could be talking to a friend about something or someone is talking to a friend or getting some advice about you or you are getting some advice from a friend about something. Yeah, watch your money, okay? You're on the right path. You're on a path to success. But you, again, like I said, it's not going to all come at once. So kind of be, 
you know, saving those coins, saving those bags, all right? May could be significant. You could be traveling in May or going through something in May. Yeah, someone is leaving your life. Someone is leaving your life. Um, and you have spiritual love here, okay? All right. So, do I want to pull on this? I'm going to pull a little bit on this snake energy and then I'm going to be out. Because I just saw way too many, way too many snakes in that cup. Tell me about the sneaky snake energy around Libra. Tell me about the sneaky snake energy around Libra spirit. Tell me about the sneaky, sneaky energy around Libra, please. For some of you, it's a gold digger. Look, broke. Yeah, somebody's broke. So they could be using you for money or using somebody for money. If this isn't you, somebody doing this to you, or um, this is this is happening in your energy, or it's maybe what people are saying about you, child. I don't know. All right, tell me about this sneaky ass energy, snake energy around Libra. An older woman moving. Somebody that is into you that you're uninterested in. Um, hating on your happiness, okay? So somebody that you are uninterested in, they're very much into you. But you're not into them, okay? I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm seeing that movie, um, she's a, he's just not that into you. Or it could be she. Take it how it resonates. It could be you very interested in someone and they just not that into you. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, um, you could, there could be an older woman moving. I feel like... Okay, either there's an older woman in your neighborhood um, that is moving away or moving into your neighborhood. Okay? Tell me about the snake energy around Libra. So for some of you, it could be your neighbor. Okay, the snake energy. You just unbothered by it though, right? As you should be, you know what I'm saying? In true Libra fashion, you're unbothered. I don't give a dang what these people talking about, what they saying about these people. Okay, so people don't know this about Libras. I don't think they do, but we. We don't really, we don't care that you don't like us. It doesn't affect us. It's just like funny. It's like, especially people that don't even know you. Like, I swear, like I, child, there's a store that I go in all the time. And there's this girl there that always gives me the stank face every single time I come in the store. And I don't know this child from the color paint that's on my wall, honey. I don't know what color damn paint this is. What is it? Eggshell? White? I don't know. And I don't care. And that's how I feel. That's how Libras be. Hell. And if you that bothered by us being unbothered by you, <laughs> it's funny to us. Okay? It's funny. So, I don't know, Libra. You just in your unbothered energy, as always. la di da di da in your own little world. <sighs> And somebody just crazy. Yeah. What's the dang energy, honey? What's the snake ass energy around Libra? Yeah, they wasting their time trying to bother you, trying to affect you in any type of way. Shoot, you trying to get to the money. <laughs> what else about the snake ass energy? All right, somebody could have called child services on somebody or something about children or somebody that you have a child with. It says kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something, ne reporting something, neglect and abuse. I feel like somebody is lying on somebody reporting about some type of abuse or neglect or something like that. Yeah. And they trying to get some evidence on it. 
But they're, but it's a waste of time because it's not true. And if oh, what the hell? You got people like outside taking photos and videos and pictures of you and your family. Oh. My my batteries are about to. I mean my um time is about to go out, so I'm gonna have to cut this short, cut this part off. But yeah, look, they trying to find dirt on you. And like I said, this could be somebody that you have children with. This could be a neighbor next door to you. Somebody just that just don't like you for no fucking reason, but don't know you from Tom, Dick, and Harry and Sue and Mary. Like the fuck? No. A broke ass motherfucker need to go. <laughs> All you broke hoes need to get a job. That part. Somebody mad because you rejected they ain't shit asses with they bad breath. <laughs> All right, Libra. I'm gonna have to dive into this in a whole other reading, honey. Cause I can't. I don't got time. I literally don't have time for it. Let me pull an oracle message for you and wrap this up. Shuffle for Libra. Shuffle for Libra. I'm almost there. Huh? Uh, they in here? Uh, you had them in the kitchen. Shut up, Holy Boy. Give me one card to close. Look at this. Bottom of the deck betrayal. Oh my gosh. Give me one card. What is it? Oh. All right, one card to wrap up this reading for at least. Okay. Ooh, manifestation. Yes. Ooh, look. She looked like my little dancing woman that I saw in the cup. Yes, woman, you better dance. Okay. All right, so let's read this. Nine is significant, September. Okay. So let's see. I'm getting like... I'm hearing like when it rains, it pours, but I'm getting like in the form of blessings and manifestations, hunty, 2222, I am seeing, okay. So, let's read this real quick, because if I don't save this now, I'm going to lose this part of the reading. All right, so it says, this is goddess, oh gosh, I'm going <laughs> to... God is Mojadi. Mojadi. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Okay. It says showers of blessings are yours. You are a rainmaker, master manifester, shapeshifter, alchemist. Yes, Queen Nefertiti come through. I'm telling y'all. And a sorceress. Everything I said at the beginning of the reading. Open your hands and... Okay, let me read that again. Sorry, y'all. You are a rainmaker, man, ma, master, manifester, shapeshifter, alchemist, and sorceress. Open your hands and hearts. Jesus. Yes, make it rain. <laughs> you are manifesting big. This has been a long time coming. You are co-creating with spirit. Match the energetic frequency, the ashe of your desire. You are magnetic and like, and like attracts like. Raise your vibration to align with the sacred. Close your eyes and see your blessings. Feel them in your bones. Ask, believe, act, allow, and receive. And the affirmation for this card is divine blessings flow to me so easily. Ashe, ashe, ashe. And with that, I'm going to close this reading out. Don't forget to like the channel, subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any readings. If you want to book a reading with me, information is in the description box below. If you want to join members, that information is there as well. And I will see you guys on the other side. Bye.